All right, so this video is when your friend is a better crypto trader than you. It doesn't have to be crypto specifically, but <laughs> when you have a trading partner or you have a friend that's trading better than you, it, it sometimes it can be annoying when you're having like a huge drawdown or like you're just going through that uh that trading rut. <laughs> like, yeah, it just seems like you can't you can't do anything to get a win. Uh, that's that's very rare if you diversify enough and you know you have some other trades going on in positions but every once in a while if you're trading like leveraged assets you're just going to get to that point to where it's just like market or for me at least when markets are going sideways i just i just get demolished uh, i'm a trend trader so i get some of those i get caught into some of those fake trends or i think it's about to be or i think this trend is about to start and i just get demolished like during those times of low volatility um like for instance uh when was it made like i want to say april or may uh no it wasn't april it was may 2020 in june uh i would say like the beginning of june 2020 like forex markets were just not doing anything at all and i mean i was just getting destroyed and i have friends talking about yeah man i'm just trading futures or I'm just in stocks or I'm in crypto, crypto is going crazy. And I wasn't really too heavy in crypto at the time. And uh, and I mean, like, it just seemed like I was just getting demolished. And even in oil last year, like oil, I think it was like March, March or April last year in 2020, oil wasn't doing anything for months and it just exploded. And I, I had some decent long positions in oil. Um, but I mean, it was just going sideways forever. But anyways, let's jump into the video. Oh yeah. RP to this guy. Um, I, his face always looked super familiar and I couldn't remember where I knew him from and when I would watch these videos for like the last year or two when they started making them. But, um, uh, when I looked him up, apparently he was like, um, I don't know if he's a physicist or anything like that, but he had some videos, but he was in mostly in France. But rest in peace. Oh, and his brother passed away as well, like six days after, both from uh, the virus. Yo, Nelson, did you see that massive price increase in Dogecoin yesterday? Yeah, dude, it's insane. I wish I still owned Dogecoin. I do have another coin on target. I have been following it a lot lately and I think it will go up the coming week. What's the name of your coin? It's called Link Chain and it's in a pretty good dip right now. Sounds good bro. But I'm gonna skip it for now. I already put all of my money into trash coin. Why? Shit coins are the shit bro. Alright, so you never want to put all your capital into one crypto or one equity or anything you don't want to go all in on one thing that way when you have other opportunities that present themselves you're able to still have some some capital to allocate to that new idea that new opportunity so um i would say it just depends like you're not going to always have good opportunities that present themselves so you really want to diversify um it, it's good it, like there's no perfect way or perfect system that i can say that you can use to like diversify but i wouldn't go more than like if you're a value investor i wouldn't go more than 10 percent invested into one thing and even with cryptos like there are so many cryptos out there that are just complete crap but you know you can trade them for volatility reasons or maybe they have like you gotta have to view crypto as like a penny stock like you're going to have those pump and dumps. You're going to have people that just say, hey, look, we're going to buy this influencer or we're going to buy this article or we're going to make this type of wave. And people are just going to rush into our crypto when really their crypto has no actual value. They're just trying to pump and dump. So they got in at like like less than a penny. All of a sudden they pump up the stock, they pump up the crypto and then it goes to two pennies and they've doubled their money or more than double their money if they got in for less than a penny. But then let's say it goes up to 10 pennies or 10 pennies. Let's say it goes up to 10 cents and then they're just making 10 X their, their capital. So then they just dump it. A lot of people saw that with, um, what was the name of that one crypto that everybody got into, uh, the squid game coin or squid coin or something like that. It just went up. Like it, once it went on, uh, 
it went on the blockchain and you were able to trade it. I mean, it just went to zero and they just rug pulled it the same day. So uh, I think it was the same day. But anyways, you always want to have your capital diversified and you don't want to go all into where all your money is in one coin or one asset. Some YouTuber made a video about it saying it will go up this week. I'm too lazy to do all that analysis stuff so I threw some box in that coin. You can't just throw your money into a shitcoin and expect it to go well. Linkchain is a solid project with great foundations and many economics. And this is kind of one of the things like you have hype. So then like, usually when people talk about a bubble, you have the people that are just going to buy into anything just because everybody else is buying into it. But then when you're finding like solid investments, they're going to always take long to really take off. So you can find something. Like, like, like we can say Ethereum, for example, like Ethereum mostly deals with smart contracts and for I've known about Ethereum for years, but then it really didn't take off till early 2020 or not early 20, early 2021. So, you know, you can have solid investments that just take a really long time before you finally see the value in them take off. But, you know, you have those, you know, I wouldn't say anything is a shit coin. But you're going to always have those cryptocurrencies that, you know, they're not they don't really have any utility to them and they're going to always spike and you you might be at a 10x or 100x your money, but it's not a buy and hold. It's just like a, I'm just trying to take advantage of the market volatility with this cryptocurrency and then get out. Including myself predict it will moon next week. That's amazing for you, bro. I hope you are right about your coin. You should buy some, too. You can. I'm curious which one of these guys is the better trader. So the guy in the blue shirt, he it seems like he's done some analysis with his crypto investment. And the guy in the orange shirt doesn't seem to have done any analysis. He just thinks it's going to go to the moon. So I'm thinking the guy in the orange shirt is going to end up being the better crypto trader. Uh, well, let's see how it goes, how it plays out. You can thank me later for helping you find this gem. I appreciate your help, bro, but I don't have any money to invest at the moment. Swap that trash coin of yours for link chain. It will be the best choice in your life. What's up, girls? Do you hear that sound? What sound? The sound of money. I don't hear it. Exactly. That's because you girls aren't making me any money by sitting around here. Get your ass back to your office now. Okay, so I know traders that do this, like they go super in depth with, um, anyways, we won't, we won't get into that because I don't even know if this stuff is. <laughs> okay, so I was right. So the guy did all that analysis on link chain. Yes, yeah, link chain. And it just, it, I don't know if it got rug pulled or if it just completely lost value. But I had a feeling it was going to be the guy in the orange shirt who just went like he just ate <laughs> into whatever the cryptocurrency he was trading. But the guy in the orange shirt seems to be the winner of the better crypto trader. No, how is this possible? Yeah, dude, how is this possible? <laughs> I can't believe it. Trash coin just went up with 200 percent. See, I don't know why this always happens with crypto. Like it's it's always the meme tokens are the ones that like really don't have any value that just go they just skyrocket it. But from a short term perspective, I mean they have the hype with them. So you're gonna have that volatility and you're just gonna have a whole bunch of people buying and it's pretty much like uh, it's gonna be pretty much like the greater full theory. Like you just have somebody else that's willing to buy from a higher price than you bought and it just keeps climbing and climbing and climbing. Anyways, let's continue the video. I sold. That's an easy four hundred dollar profit. I love crypto. <laughs> How did Link Chain go so bad while Trashcoin went up so much? This is so unfair. I spent hours analyzing that stupid coin. Nelson didn't even do any analysis on Trashcoin and still he made a better trade.
And this kind of comes down to psychology as well. Like you don't want to ever think that, you know, just because you put in some time and effort and you lost some money on a trade that you're not a good trader or, you know, it keeps you up at night or anything like that. Like you just have to take the trade. If it makes money, great. If it loses money, it's okay. It was risk capital anyways, but don't stay up late at night, like analyzing why your trade didn't work. I mean, it's, it could be a number of reasons why it didn't work. Yo, Jimmy, I just threw my profits from today into this new coin called Titty Coin. Oh, wow. Some French guy from my neighborhood told me it would go up. What a dumb loser. He got lucky with Trash Coin and now he throws that money into an even dumber coin. Thanks for the advice, Nelson, but I'm going for a more stable coin this time. All right, so I've been this guy before, so <laughs> where it's like you're kind of just thinking that all these cryptos like don't make any sense. Like it has it's a coin called Titty Coin. Like, I mean, what's the what's the utility of a coin called Titty Coin? But then when you have Ethereum, which actually has utility, you're just like, man, like this thing is not going to go as crazy as a hype coin or anything like that. So I would just say, like, if you have a decent amount of capital, allocate a little bit more towards the stable coin, like Ethereum or Bitcoin or something like that. And then if you want to always have like a little bit of capital into something like, I guess, Titty coin or whatever the other coin was, like the hype coins at the time. But you want to like you, I would say you would more so want to day trade those or or like quick scalp, not scalps, but like quick maybe like a day trade or a swing trade, but it's not like something you're going to buy and hold forever because it's not, it doesn't really have any utility. So it's like, you kind of just want to take advantage of the fact that it's volatile right now. And people are talking about, it and it has to hype and you're just getting in and getting out. I bought Ethereum today. You can't go wrong on Ethereum. I can't wait to see Nelson's face tomorrow when he lost all his money on Titty Coin. Oh wow. <laughs> I can't believe it, dude. Titty Coin went to the moon. I made so much money this week already. How is your Ethereum doing by the way? Let me check. Oh dang. <laughs> Yeah, Ethereum is going fine. Stable coin, as you know. All right, also, there's no reason you need to, you know, try and wait, like fake that you're not hurt on the trade, not going in the direction you want to go in. So I found this new coin yesterday called S coin. It's in a pretty good dip right now. So I think I'm going to buy some. Okay, so this is what always happens. So you get, you have a friend, he tells you about like an investment here an investment there or he might say all right we'll just use it for my example. we might just be like man i'm long s p i'm long s p and i might be short s p and i've gotten hit twice and then he's like i'm still long s p and then i'm like all right i gotten hit twice trying to short s p so now i'm gonna try and go long and then almost every single time that third or fourth time when somebody tells you that they've made money consistently and you're like okay i'm gonna just take his trade this time you always end up losing money and I don't know why it plays out like that, but I'm curious if that's what's going to happen uh, with these two guys. This guy made two insane profits by being lucky already while I... See, I knew it. I, I told you it always happens. It always happens. Lost so much on my analyzed coins. I think it's better to change strategy and follow Nelson for once. Ask coin you said, I'm joining you, bro. Nice, bro. Let's invest in it together. All right, bro. I bet you they lose money this one time. He, the guy in the orange shirt is still going to be up, but the guy in the blue shirt is going to be down again. Hey, I don't know why it happens this way, but every single time. May the luck be in our favor again. Hell yeah. If I can't be lucky, I better join Nelson's luck. This time I'll make gains. I can feel it. I told you, I told you every single time this happens, every single time. I 
I told you. <laughs> I told you like every single time that's what happens. And then the, like it's if you guys ever read um what was that book called? Um Market Wizards. I can't remember which which chapter in the Market Wizards book it was, but there was a guy who said his mentor told him to invest in this, so he invested in it, and the mentor took the opposite side of his trade. And anyway, we won't go into all that. We'll, we'll just keep it to the video. But I don't know why that always happens. Like whenever you have a, a friend or an, a trading buddy that you know you cross ideas with. They're always going to have some type of edge on you and they're just having a winning streak. But then once you say, hey, look, I'm going to take their trading advice this one time, you always end up losing money. Like, I don't know why that happens. But anyways, that's it for today's video, guys. Um, I'll talk to you soon. Peace. Oh, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. Adios, amigos. Man, even Jesus had a shooter. And God be having unbelievers that didn't mess up their demeanor. And yes, they know it's hard, they know, oh, 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 ah. Cause when they be up in those trenches, man, they show up. Ah. But what they do is look for balance. That's every hood that's in Atlanta. They want their mama in a phantom.